Hello YouTube, it's the Evil Pink Banana here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a video on 15 great tweets from Cydia. Now these are not on any order, these are just the order that um, I found them and that uh, I suppose I've put on, so let's go. Right, firstly um, there's a thing called Android Lock XT, now instead it just replaces your lock screen and you draw a pattern to unlock, just like you would on any other Android phone. Sorry about the lag, it's just this screen recorder. The second thing is called InfiniDock. At the bottom here, you can see I have five apps. You can scroll across with it, just like so. Um, you can change the amount of apps on there by simply going to Settings. InfiniDock. And then icons per page, you can have up to ten. That means they're very compressed, but you can have as little as one. Now, next is a thing called Fake Carrier. As you can see in the top left hand corner of my screen, my Wi Fi is on, also it says my name, Jacob. Um, this is an app which you get through Cydia. A lot of people use Make It Mine, but that just doesn't seem to work on this. I don't know why. This is an iOS 4, so it might be something to do with that. We go on Carrier Editor or Fake Carrier. And it says Fake Carrier at the top. You type in what you want, click set. And there it is. So if you type in hello, click set, and then I'll say hello. Next thing I'm going to show you, well, I don't have it anymore, but I used to. It's called SB Settings. This means when you swipe the top, um, your status bar at the top, it comes up with a little menu. That's how you get battery percentage on, as you can see next to my battery. Of course, you get a lot of other cool stuff as well, but um, my iPhone froze on me and I had to restore it, so I don't have it anymore. Um, another thing, live clock, which as you can see my clock shows the correct time and is actually ticking with the time. iFile, now this is pretty cool. Now let me just take this off a sec, but if you go on uh, wait, Android lock, I'll just turn it off. As you can see, on my lock screen, it actually says my name, Jacob Zyphoid. And iFile enables you to go through all your files pretty much the bowels of your iPod and change things. Now that is um, my thing and it says all the things that um, happens on your main screen. So, um, you can go on... It's very complicated and if you don't know how to use it then I wouldn't recommend it. But you have all those folders there. Um, it is complicated. And yeah. Next thing is Winterboard, which enables you to change themes, backgrounds, just general tweaks, and um, other things like that. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, then next is a thing called Barrel. Now, when you watch, I rotate my home screen. The apps, this is going to be a bit laggy, so it might not look as good. Rotate in a certain way. It's not the usual um, thing you'd expect. It's um you can change the ways it does it, like you can have and if I go into barrel and the settings there's stairs, cube, curl and roll, page slide up, page slide down, vertical scrolling. There's a lot of things on there. And um yeah, it's a pretty good thing. I'd recommend it. Next thing is called Infinity Folders. Now I'm not using it right now because I only have a couple of apps in a folder, but it enables you to put unlimited apps in a folder. So you can have as many apps as you want in the folder. You can literally have, oh, I don't know, if you had thousands of apps that fit on your iPod, you could have them all in the folder. Another great thing that I like of Cydia is called Tab Plus. Now, this is on Safari, and um, usually you have a limit of nine tabs, I think. I think it's nine anyway. And this enables you to have no limit, so you can go above the limit. So if you just keep clicking New Page, then you can just keep going above the limit, basically. The next thing, this is a great thing, I only found it yesterday, but it's called Gravity Board. Now you can change how this is um, activated. I've just got double tap the status bar, so you double tap it. And it's like gravity for your apps. You can like, pull them whatever way you want. It depends where you tip your iPod, they go down to like the gravity bit, as you can see. I'm doing mine on the side here. I know this isn't very smooth because it's laggy, but still. The best thing is you can still use it. For example, if you like this, click on an app, it will actually go onto the app as well. 
No, the gravity's turned off now. And I'm on the app store. Uh, a great uh, little app, you should, everyone should have this if they are now. I've got Installus down here, so I hack the the app store and you'll be able to get free apps. Is that? Another thing I've got is Icon Renamer. <coughs> now, what this does is, you press and hold an app into Wiggly mode, then you can double tap it, and it will allow you to rename the app. And you just click whatever you want to rename it to. While I'm there, I might as well just show you Loctopus, which is um, almost the same. But as you can see, it's got a little padlock next to it. If you click the padlock, it locks the app. Now, I've turned Facebook off because usually my friends come over, they like to change my status to like, I love them or something, or I'm gay. So if you click on the app, it will ask you for a password. After you've entered the password, you just quickly click launch. And launch the app for you. Which is pretty cool. And the final thing I'm going to show you is called SB Rotator 4. Now, the reason why I've got SB Rotator 4 is because I'm on um, iOS 4. You don't have, if you're on iOS 4 below, you want SB Rotator. But I've got SB Rotator 4. Now, I apologise for this, but it might look a bit stupid on your computer because I'm going to turn my iPod on its side. Um, and what happens is when you turn your iPod on its side, all the apps turn on their side, like an iPad. Now obviously it's not instant, it's got a little like animation kind of thing, but it's pretty cool to have them all on the side. But oh, yeah, it's like that. And the great thing is, if you click on settings, that's also a little video outside. Which is great. Thanks for watching this video. All tweets will be in the description. Um, some of these are paid, but I've got for free, so just look on Google for that. And thanks for watching. Goodbye. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.